The state of Android operating system updates in 2022 is a real mess. I was inspired to make this video after I saw this tweet by fellow YouTuber Rohit Arora. And I must say, I feel really bad for the owners of the Moto One Fusion. But to be fair, it's not just Motorola. Even brands like OnePlus have dropped the ball lately when it comes to software updates. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at how 14 Android phone manufacturers have done in terms of Android operating system upgrades and security patch upgrades in a year's time frame. If you don't know me yet, I'm Ashad. You're watching Tracking Tech English. Let's go. So we followed a process for this entire video and our team of content experts actually carefully curated a list of 28 phones that were launched in 2021 in India. And we captured information like the Android version upgrade at launch, the current version of Android, the current version of the skin that is on top of Android, and you know, the brand promises for the Android upgrades year on year and more. This helped us evaluate the status of software updates on all these phones after a year of launch. In fact, stay tuned till the end of the video because we have a clear information and ranking for the best brands and the worst brands. Also, this is a very important video from a user's perspective and it takes a lot of effort to make such videos. So don't forget to hit that red subscribe button and the bell icon right next to it to get notified whenever we put out an awesome new tech video. And if you like this video, don't forget to share it with your friends as well. Now let's start with Motorola itself. While the company hasn't made any assurances or claims that it is going to be giving these many updates for all of the phones that it is launching, it will definitely maintain a two-year update cycle as per Google's policy framework. But none of the phones that we picked, the Moto G31, the Moto H20 Fusion, or the Moto H20 Pro are on the latest Android 12 update. So much for near stock Android experience. In fact, forget about, you know, software updates. Now these phones are even on the latest security patch updates. Motorola, please improve your software update cycle. This is embarrassing. Coming to Xiaomi, a brand that really doesn't care too much about, you know, Android version upgrades as much as it does about its own skin on top of Android MIUI. The Mi 11 Lite and the Mi 11 Ultra that we picked are currently running on MIUI 12.5 Enhanced Edition based on Android 11. But the MIUI 13 upgrade with Android 12 is apparently rolling out in batches to the Mi 11 Lite any, so we'll have to wait and watch when that comes. Having said that, it is still a little too late in my opinion. Our video is currently in the edit table, but looks like the folks over at Xiaomi got a whiff of what we were doing and the Xiaomi 11 Lite any 5G has already received the MIUI 13 update based on Android 12, which is great. And it is completely unforgivable that a phone that costs as much as the Mi 11 Ultra is not already running Mi UI 13 based on Android 12. In fact, there was some news about, you know, Mi UI 13 breaking certain Mi 11 Ultra phones as well. I mean... As for Xiaomi's more popular sub-brand Redmi, the Redmi Note 10 Pro Max and the Redmi 9 Power that we checked actually are still running on Android 11. MIUI 13 is expected on the Redmi Note 10 Pro Max sometime soon, but for uh, an update cycle that includes two years of upgrades, this is really too late. Same is the situation with Poco as well. The Poco X3 and the Poco F3 GT are currently not running on Android 12 based on MIUI 13. They're still running on Android 11. Poco says it is made of mad, but I think it is making us mad. That said, though, the Poco F3 GT is already actually in uh, the process of getting MIUI 13 with Android 12, similar to the, you know, Xiaomi 11 Lite NE, so we'll have to wait and watch. And of all the phones in our list, only the Poco X3 is currently on the January 2022 patch. None of these phones are on the February 2022 security patch. Not all brands are bad, though, and there is a silver lining, and Samsung has turned over a new leaf. The company has clearly outlined the update cycle for the different series of phones that it launches. For example, the S series is expected to get four years of software updates, whereas certain phones in the A series are assured for three years of software updates, and the rest of the phones will get at least two years of software updates. And when we check, the S21 Ultra is currently already running One UI 4.0 based on Android 12, and it has the latest February security patch as well. And in comparison, the Samsung Galaxy A52s is also running One UI 4.0 based on Android 12, but it is on the January security patch. In comparison, the Galaxy M32 and the Galaxy A22 5G are expected to get, uh, you know, the Android update in May. But what's heartening to see is that the Galaxy M32 is already on the February security patch. 
But one brand that has completely lost the plot after getting integrated with its parent company Oppo is OnePlus. The OnePlus Nord 2 and the OnePlus 9 Pro are still running Android 11. That's it, many users did start getting the OnePlus 9 Pro with Oxygen OS 12 and Android 12 updates, but we didn't get it yet and it was rolling out in batches, so that didn't happen. Apparently it's coming back again soon and you know, it'll roll out to more people, but you know what, our unit doesn't have it. But what's even worse is that both these phones haven't even got the security patches on time either. In fact, the Nord 2 is still running the June 2021 security patch and that's completely insane. Although I must say that OnePlus did recently admit and apologize for, you know, Oxygen OS 12 and said that it was not up to the mark. And I really, really hope that one of my favorite brands can come back with a bang with Oxygen OS 13. Keeping my fingers crossed. <laughs> Surprisingly, in comparison, the parent company Oppo is doing much better. The Oppo Reno 6 Pro is already on Kareli OS 12 based on Android 12, which is a fantastic thing. But, you know, the Oppo F19 Pro is still running Android 11. And, you know, both these phones are already on the January security patch. So that's a good thing. Realme, on the other hand, is doing fairly okay, considering the fact that uh, Realme GT is already running Realme UI 3.0 based on Android 12 and it also has the latest February security patch update as well, which is a good thing. It got it recently and you know, we must lot that. Having said that, the Realme 8 Pro and the Realme C21Y are still lagging behind and they're yet to get any update. None of the other brands in the market, which is Asus, Infinix, Lava, Techno, are, you know, on the latest Android 12 software. And what's funny is that Infinix did promise Android 12 for its recent launch, the Infinix 0 5G, but in August. In a couple of months after the update comes to the Infinix 0 5G, we will probably start getting phones with Android 13 releasing in the market and many other phones will also start getting updated to Android 13. You know what, I saved the best for the last because I was genuinely shocked to see that Vivo and IQ are making great progress when it comes to Android updates. It's surprising because Funtouch OS is not really the most loved operating system out there, but at least they're doing a good job with respect to software updates. Of the four phones that we checked, all of them were already running Funtouch OS 12 based on Android 12. And the best part is two phones in this list, the iQ Z3 and the Vivo V21 are phones that cost under rupees 30,000. So it's not like Vivo is only updating the flagship phones, it's also doing that for the mid-range phones as well. And more importantly, of the four phones, three phones have already gotten the February security patch and the X60 Pro Plus is on the January one. I still cannot believe that Vivo has actually beaten Samsung to the punch. Very, very good job, Vivo. So all in all, of the 28 phones that we checked, eight phones have the latest software update, which is Android 12. And of these, only five have the latest security patch update. And I'm really glad that Vivo and IQ are committed to providing software updates on time, which is a fantastic job, but brands like OnePlus, Motorola and Xiaomi definitely need to improve their game. Feel free to share this infographic with your friends. I know this is not a comprehensive list of all the phones, but this is a carefully curated list of phones that could be indicative of kind of updates that you can expect from your smartphone brand. Moreover, we've only taken a look at the state of the updates, but not the state of what the updates do to your phone. Whether they're adding bugs or breaking the system, all of this is also something that you guys need to consider. And that keeps happening often lately. In fact, uh, our own friend Ranjit made a fantastic video about this. You guys should go check it out. This is probably also the reason why a lot of people stick to iPhones. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Until next time, this is Ashad signing off. Keep tracking and stay safe.